In this video, we're going to register a Cisco video endpoint running CE9 code to CUCM. To start, let's copy the MAC address of the endpoint and remove the colons. Now, navigate to the CUCM administration portal. Here, we're going to create a phone profile for the endpoint. Click on Device, and then Phone, and then Add New. Under Phone Type, be sure to select the correct device type. In this case, we're going to use a RoomKit Plus. In the MAC address field, paste the MAC address without colons. From this point on, we basically need to configure every field that has an asterisk next to it. For Device Pool, let's pick Default. For Phone Button Template, pick the standard profile. Scroll down and set the owner of this device to Anonymous. Scroll down one more time, and we need to set the device security profile. Here we're going to set it to standard SIP non-secure. For SIP profile, let's pick standard SIP profile for telepresence endpoint. Under web access, let's select HTTP plus HTTPS, and let's also enable SSH access. With all that set, let's scroll down and click Save. Now that we've configured the phone, we need to give it a directory number. Scroll up to the top left and click on Add New DN. In the Directory Number field, let's define a line number. Under Route Partition, pick the option that best fits your dial plan. You can also add a description here if desired. Scroll down and hit Save. You can see here that the MAC address of the associated device is populated in this box. Scroll down to Directory URI and enter the URI information along with the route partition. Scroll down and save one more time. Click on Apply Config and Reset. Now let's go back to the phone configuration. We can see that the registration status is unknown because we haven't done anything to the endpoint yet. Let's bring up this RoomKit Plus's web interface. Go to Setup, Configuration, and then go to Provisioning. Set the provisioning mode to CUCM. Enter the CUCM IP address or FQDN, then hit Save. Now let's go to Setup, Status, and then Provisioning. The system shows provision now, which means it should have all the configuration parameters pushed from CUCM. Let's verify the SIP configuration under Setup, Configuration, and then go to SIP. You can see that the system pulled in all the SIP configuration it needs for registration here. Let's go to the Home tab. And if we look here, we can see that the system is now registered to CUCM. That's all there is for registering a CE9 endpoint to CUCM. I hope this video helps and thank you for watching.